Hello friends, I am Shantanu, your coach and today I am going to cover the Code of Civil Procedure 1908. First of all, you will understand about codes and what basically codes means. We have two types of codes here. The first is the Civil Procedure Code and the second is the Criminal Procedure Code. तो ये जो कोड्स हैं ये रिलेटेड है सूट से ये एक तरह के जनरल लॉ हैं जो जनरली एप्लीकेबल होते हैं जैसे आपने देखा होगा कि कंपनीज एक्ट है तो वो कंपनीज पे लगता है पार्टनरशिप एक्ट पार्टनरशिप पे लगता है इसी तरह से लेबर लॉ लेबर लॉस लेबर्स पे लगते हैं ये एक तरह का जनरल लॉ है जो सभी पे लगता है जो भी इसके दायरे में आते हैं तो ये जो कोड है ये रिलेटेड है सूट्स जब कभी भी हम कोर्ट में कोर्ट में सूट फाइल करते हैं इसका मतलब है केस फाइल करते हैं तो ये सिविल प्रोसीजर कोड और क्रिमिनल प्रोसीजर कोड के प्रोविजंस वहां पर अप्लाई हो जाते हैं अब ये जो दोनों कोड है इसमें जो बेसिक डिफरेंस है वो आप पहले समझ लीजिए सिविल प्रोसीजर कोड बेसिकली इट इज रिलेटेड टू राइट्स एंड लाइबिलिटीज यानी यहां पर जो दो पर्सन हैं जो कोर्ट में प्लेंटिफ है और डिफेंडेंट है उनके राइट्स और लाइबिलिटीज को ये डिसाइड करता है इट डिटरमाइंस द राइट्स एंड लाइबिलिटीज ऑफ द पार्टीज फॉर एग्जांपल ये एक जमीन का टुकड़ा है इट इज अ इमूवेबल प्रॉपर्टी एंड ए इज क्लेमिंग दैट दिस बिलोंग्स टू हिम एंड एट द सेम टाइम बी इज ऑल्सो क्लेमिंग दैट दिस इमूवेबल प्रॉपर्टी दिस इमूवेबल प्रॉपर्टी बिलोंग्स टू हिम Now in this case, anyone can go to the court that the court should decide whose property is this. So ऐसे में यहाँ पर civil procedure code apply हो जाता है because in this suit rights and liabilities of the parties will be determined. दूसरा है यहाँ पर इन्होंने बोला है code of criminal procedure. Criminal procedure code basically related होता है crime से. Crime का मतलब गुनाह किया हो. For example, A ने B का मर्डर कर दिया है। Let's say A ने B का मर्डर कर दिया है और A के अगेंस्ट में सूट फाइल किया है पुलिस ने। So this is related to crime and यहाँ पर आपका criminal procedure code applicable हो जाता है। You also have to understand the two terms here basically. Whoever moves to the court, suppose A move to the court uh, to uh, pass a judgment in favor of A that this property belongs to A, then whoever moves into the court, he, he will be called as a plaintiff. Plaintiff ka matlab hai faryadi, jo court ke paas gaya hai, ye liabilities or rights ko decide karne ke liye. Aur jiske against mein ye suit file karta hai, usko hum bolte hai defendant, defendant. And now we will see the basic introduction of the code of civil procedure. Civil procedure code ka basic hum dekhenge yaha pa. As I already said, it is a general law relating to civil suit. Civil suit jaha pe rights and liabilities decide hoti hai parties ki. Aur jo compensation milta hai aapko wo rupees mein milta hai. Yene other party will have to make the compensation normally. So this is called the civil procedure code where the rights and liabilities of the parties will be decided. Now let's see this code of civil procedure, civil procedure code, हम इसको CPC भी बोलते हैं और criminal procedure code को हम CRPC बोलते हैं. So civil procedure code is divided into two part, that is first part and second part. First part is having a substantive law and the second part is procedural law. So substantive law and procedural law. Substantive law mein jo hai sections diye gai hai. Section total 158 section hai. Isi tarah se procedural law jo hai us mein procedure diya gaya hai and it contains order. Or har order mein bohut saare rules hai. अब आप इसको एक बार इस तरह से भी समझ लीजिए जो सब्सटेंटिव लॉ है वो राइट्स और लायबिलिटीज को डिसाइड करता है राइट्स एंड लायबिलिटीज आर डिसाइडेड एज पर सब्सटेंटिव लॉ और ये जो डिटरमाइन होगा राइट्स एंड लायबिलिटी इसके लिए जो प्रोसीजर फॉलो किया जाएगा दैट इज गिवन अंडर द पार्ट 2 डिवीजन 2 दैट इज द प्रोसीजर लॉ 
<coughs> now let's see the first division as i have already mentioned there are 158 section in the first division it contains the substantive law the law which determines the rights and obligation of the parties so this is contained in the first division now let's see the second division second division contains 51 orders each of which order contains several rules in it it is the procedural law it describes the procedure to be followed for dec deciding the rights and liabilities of the parties now you have to remember the first division that talks about the section section this may 158 section hai. this is a substantive law and can be amended by the parliament only and the second division which contains the procedural law where 51 orders are there each order contains several rules can be amended by the high courts so, this question is the substantive law that is contained 158 section can be amended by parliament and the procedure law that is that contain 51 orders can be amended by high court only. Now, we will see the concept of a decree, order and judgment. Now, first we will see the term decree. Decree kya hota hai? It is defined under section 2.2. Decree means a formal expression of an adjudication. Adjudication ka matlab hai nyayik prakriya jo follow hoti hai uh, uh, court mein. So, it is a formal expression of an adjudication which conclusively, conclusively determines the rights of the parties with regard to or any matter in the controversy in the suits. So, aisa koi bhi uh, expression as a koi bhi formal expression which conclusively determines the rights of the parties will be treated as a decree decree may be either preliminary or a final decree may be preliminary when further procedure has to be followed that means ki abhi puri tarah se suit of dispose of nahi hua hai still the suit is pending but the court has passed a decree it will be treated as preliminary decree without which does not dispose of the suit completely the decree can be final also final when we say the decree is final it means the adjudication is completely disposed of the suit so final disposition of the suit hota hai or us samay jo decree pass hoti hai that will be treated as a final decree but here you have to remember that two things have not been covered by the term decree decree does not include any adjudication from which an appeal lies as an appeal from the order ye yaad rakhna hai agar koi appeal lay hoti hai from the appeal uh, appeal from the order to it will not be treated as decree and secondly any order or decision of the court of dismissal of the suit dismiss kar diya hai suit ko that order or decision will also be not a decree iske upar bhi question aa sakta hai now we will see the term order order has been defined under section 214 of the cpc that is civil procedure code it means the formal expression of any decision of the civil code which is not a decree to aisa koi bhi formal expression jo decision hai which is not a decree will be treated as the order अब बात करते हैं इंटरलॉक्यूटरी ऑर्डर की ये भी एग्जाम में पूछा जाता है इंटरलॉक्यूटरी ऑर्डर आर ऑर्डर पास बाय द कोर्ट इन केस वेयर द फील वेयर द कोर्ट फील्स देन ऑर्डर शुड बी गिवन रिगार्डिंग अ मैटर दैट नीड टू बी रिजॉल्व एज सून एज पॉसिबल इसको जल्दी से जल्दी रिजॉल्व करना पड़ेगा ऐसी जहां सेंस ऑफ अर्जेंसी है इन दैट केस इंटरलॉक्यूटरी ऑर्डर्स आर पास or the value of property in question would diminish. Otherwise, if this order pass not passed, then the property ki value would diminish. Ho For example, there is a crop, crop of sugar cane. Sugar cane ki crop hai aur wahan par do persons ke beech mein dispute hai A aur B ke beech mein. To A aur B ke beech mein dispute hai ki this, this crop belongs to them. 
so in this case to prevent uh, the spoilage of uh, this crop the interlocutory order can be passed by the court that this crop should be sold in the market you have to remember that this is taken as a uh, emergency measure interlocutory order pass as a emergency measure the suit has not been disposed of completely yet it is just to prevent the damages to the property this type of order can be passed mm -hmm.